In the time it takes me to read you this sentence, this new AI platform, ChatGPT, can probably write a book report about it or a poem. In fact, we just asked it to do that right now, live here behind us. On the screen behind me, we asked ChatGPT to come up with a poem about the Space Needle. It'll spit it out here in just moments. We'll find out what it came up with in a few minutes. But first, you've likely heard of this tool that's creating quite the buzz around the country right now. But what exactly is ChatGPT, short for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer? If you haven't had a moment to look into it yet, we thought we'd help. In short, it's a language tool. You're communicating with artificial intelligence. It's the closest we've come yet to having our computers talk to us like humans and it's developed by a company called OpenAI. You can open it for free right now on your computer. Just go to openai.com. From there, click on the chat GPT at the bottom. You do have to sign up for a free account, but once you're in, you can start asking anything you'd like. In this case, I'll ask it something simple like, what's the biggest issue facing the city of Seattle right now? You can see as it thinks that little blinking cursor will stay up for a few seconds or sometimes longer, but in time, the artificial intelligence spits out the answer. Look at that, it's giving me a list of five separate issues with explanation. You can even ask, write me a funny thank you letter from the dinner party last night. Moments later, there it is. Look at that, unbelievable. It looks like something you could actually send to somebody. It's incredible. I hope this letter finds you well and still recovering from the wild and crazy party we had last night. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for being such an amazing host. The question is, if I sent this to you, would you know it's a computer? The AI is generating answers based on quick research through the entire internet, just like a search engine. And with millions of queries like this every day on ChatGPT now, it's only getting smarter. But many are concerned that ChatGPT can be used for deceptive reasons. And King 5's Anjali Kakade joins us with that part of the story. Anjali, it sounds like schools and universities are trying to get ahead of any possible cheating using this new technology. Oh yeah, Jake, as more students use these types of programs, schools and universities are trying to get ahead of those cheating concerns. But some parents I spoke to say the first step to tackling it happens at home. Sometimes you have to, you have to program it to do what you want it to do. At just nine years old, Owen Chung has a better explanation of AI than a lot of adults do. <laughs> oh, I've got two COVID kids, right? Like they grew up doing school on Zoom, uh, doing their research online. Mom and travel blogger Marcy Chung says when it comes to her kids being online, the conversation about what's real and what isn't started early. Our number one responsibility when it comes to technology is teaching our kids how to use it responsibly. A hard task when chatbots like the free and popular ChatGTP is designed to look and feel like a human being. Once you set up a free account, you answer a few questions and then you can give it a prompt. For example, write a lead about schools being worried that AI will lead to more cheating. Within seconds, a full paragraph. The second line reading, as AI systems become more sophisticated, students may find new ways to cheat on tests, bypassing traditional methods of monitoring and detection. That sounds real, sparking cheating concerns and prompting some school districts like Seattle to block chatbot programs on school devices. New technologies have long stretched faculty um, to try and, you know, think about how to respond to a new technology landscape and improve what they do in the classroom. Penelope Moon is the director of UW Center for Teaching and Learning and says while AI can be a useful tool to stir ideas, it's not always accurate. What can we do in the classroom to help students use the tools thoughtfully and ethically once they leave the university. This week, OpenAI rolled out a new feature that can detect if an essay was written by a human or AI, but it's also not perfect. Moon says this stresses the need to connect assignments to lived experiences and focus on teamwork, not facts and memorization. Struggle is inherent in the learning process. So if students are using these tools as a way to avoid intellectual struggle, um, then they're sort of changing themselves. Now, I reached out to Seattle Public Schools as well. They confirmed to me that ChatGTP is currently blocked on school devices, but they're also working with teachers who want to use it as a tool in the classroom, saying, quote, we can't afford to ignore it. Okay, so uh, if you want to read that poem, by the way, that Jake was talking about, it's it spit out the answer, yeah. right? You asked... You know, can we? Can you write a poem about the space write needle? Write a clever poem about the space needle. And let me just read you the first part. Uh, this is from a computer. Tall and proud, the space needle stands, a beacon of the city on its lands, a symbol of innovation and might, its height a testament to human sight. 
and that's one of four graphs. That's I mean, it, 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 it's it, we saw good. it good. happen live, yeah. so it, it spit it out relatively quickly within a few seconds. Right, it's, it's just incredible. If you want to read this yourself, we'll send it to you. Just text us to 206-448-4545. We'll send that your way. So many questions, though, about, you know, I was thinking, if you ask the same question twice, mm -hmm. does it come up with the same answer, or does it come up with a different answer? And I thought that was a really good question. I actually didn't try that. Should, but it kind of like makes me <laughs> yeah, go try that right so now. Many yeah. Questions. Yeah. yeah, but like you said too, it's it's important that maybe we find a way to do a watermark or something to prove that mm -hmm. if it's written by AI, that everyone knows it was written by AI. Right, and they released that sort of feature this week, right, where uh, teachers or whoever is suspecting somebody is using AI, they can upload a piece of text, mm. and AI will tell you if it was written by <laughs> AI or a human. It's very yeah. confusing. It is. This is where the future is headed, though. This is a Super big deal. Super interesting topic. Thanks, Angelie.